This room is amazing. Imagine living here. What? How? <gasps> Dr. Cat! After a minute, my milk had turned into whipped cream. Vic, take a look at this. That's amazing. So there, there it is, that's whipped cream. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. And look at that, that's amazing. We've just made our own butter in what, two minutes? There were only two of us in there, and yet it still felt cramped, claustrophobic, and unpleasant. Poor sanitation, 50 degree heat, and the terrifying knowledge that you only had seven seconds to evacuate all eight of you. I don't think I'm very good at this. How much longer is this gonna take? It takes as long as it takes. Is he in? William Shakespeare? Let's find out. Shakespeare! Oh, Shakespeare! Oh, oh, Hello! Shop's just open. You here to buy some gloves? Who are you? It really does feel as though I've stepped back in time and taken the place of the driver. <laughs> and now for some arithmetic. Ah, oh, you mean math? No. Arithmetic. Now, I'm sure you recognise this marvellous invention. In the Victorian times, there was no such thing as an electronic calculator, but you could call the abacus one of the first forms of calculators. This here is a telegraph, and this was the first time that messages were able to be sent almost instantly, and the operator would translate your message into a code that could be transferred via a wire to the other end. So let's give it a go, shall we? How witches injure cattle in various ways. There's a witch with a pail between her legs. I'm really sorry. <laughs> God. Now don't be a nincompoop. Make sure you like and subscribe immediately.